Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm really excited to be here with you today to show you my PM and my AM skincare. Many of you saw my Curology video and this is a look at the Curology set and I'll link that video below because I did show you how to use that whole set. I really love that because the Curology preparation is prepared by dermatologists and it contains medical grade skincare products that are very good for our skin including Retin-A, which I really do appreciate, but I don't really use the whole Curology set necessarily in my skincare, and you all were asking for me to show you my PM and my AM skincare, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the PM in just a moment, but first I'm gonna show you my PJs, and I can't link these because these are old, but these are the types of PJs that I really prefer. I like PJs where I can wear a bra. Um, some of them are cute that are very, very bare, but to me, you need to wear a bra because you want to keep the girls in place. And I have done that for years and it has really, really helped. But anyway, that is beside the point. Let me get into my PM skincare. And here it is. This is my AM, whoa, this is my AM and my PM skincare. And I just keep it in a little cubby here, a little box. And I use these, which is, this looks very grubby, sorry. I use these candle holders from Bed Bath & Beyond to put in some of the things there. Here are my PM products. Here are my AM products, and I will be showing you exactly how I use these things. Here are some skincare masks, which I try to use once a week. Here's my Clinique Astringent, which I'll be showing you in just a moment. And I guess I'll just show you what I use for my PM skincare. And here are the things that I use. Here we go. And then here is my PM skincare right here. This is a little black candle holder from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then here are the cleansers that I kind of go between. Here is the Cetaphil, which I have used for years. And then here is the Clean Sweep, which I actually get in the Curology set each month. It's been a nice, gentle cleanser as far as I can tell. But in the last few days, I've decided to go back to my Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Cleanser because it has vitamin A and glycolic acid. And I think it'll be nice to kind of scruffle off the dead skin cells on my face. Okay, let's go ahead and I'll show you my PM skincare. The first thing I use is this CoverGirl Clean Makeup Remover for eyes and lips. I don't use it for lips, but I use it on my eyes. Here comes looking like a raccoon. There we go. See how great that gets the mascara off? And I have tried probably five other makeup removers, and this is absolutely the best. It's like $3.98 at Walmart. For those of you who watch my channel, you know that I really just like to uh, use inexpensive products wherever possible. I mean, why waste money if you can get good results? I just use a little Kleenex to get that off. And sometimes after the Kleenex, I'll use this Equate Makeup Remover, which does work very well too. These are also from Walmart. I think Oil of Olay has the, the main brand and then Walmart has the Equate brand but I think they work just beautifully. So it gets all that eye makeup off. Now, the second thing I use is a cleanser. And again, I use one of these three. I'm going to go ahead and use the Derma E today. And I buy these cheap little washcloths from Walmart. And I'll tell you more about them in my AM video. Do a couple of spritzes of that. And then I just go ahead and try to get all that makeup off as well as possible. And uh, it is hard to get the makeup off, but these washcloths do a very good job of it. And see, look at all that makeup, yuck. And then I take the other side. And then I just scruffle everything off. And I'm pretty tough on my face. I just really think it helps to use a little bit of strength in removing that makeup. There we go, looks bad. But don't worry, I've still got makeup on my skin. But I absolutely love this Clinique Clarifying Lotion number four, and I've done a video about that in the past. This stuff is absolutely gold. It truly is exfoliating, and I think it has anti-aging properties. And I just take one of these little cotton rounds down here, and I have the cotton rounds and a little candle holder too. Just take a little bit of this, looks like that and then I just put it all over my face. And you know, for years I had heard that toners really weren't very useful. And then I saw this beautiful model who is like 80, she's fabulously beautiful. 
and she swears by this Clinique Clear Flying Lotion number four, and I'm almost out as you can see, and I will be buying some more. I will never be without this. There we go, a little bit more makeup there. I'll go ahead and use it a little more on the other side, just to try to get my skin as clean as possible. It's important to clean your skin at night. It doesn't really take long to do this process in the morning or the evening. I have quite a few items that I use, but it takes maybe five minutes in the evening, something like that. Okay, next I'm going to apply my hormones. And I go into this more in my AM skincare, so I won't really mention these to you. You'll learn that in just a few minutes. But this is my estrogen cream, and it has been proven to thicken skin. I use about half a teaspoon of estrogen cream there on my neck. And I do have a video on my channel about the use of these creams, and I will share that link below. There's the progesterone cream, and use about a quarter teaspoon of that. And I'm not very scientific about the amount. I tried to use measuring spoons with this, but it just didn't work out very well. Okay, there are the hormone creams. And now I'm going to get into my PM skincare. And first I use this CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, and it has ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. And I just do three spritzes of that. And then I use my Curology Preparation. And most importantly to me, this contains my Tretinoin or Retin-A, Really, really like this. And it contains tran, transinastic acid. Oh, I didn't say that right. I'll put that below. But that lightens brown spots, and I truly believe that that works. And I actually just use one big splotch of that. And then I just mix it together. I've noticed that when I use more than one pump of that Curology, I really do start to peel again, and my skin gets very red and inflamed. And I also put it on my eyelids, and I bring it down on my neck. Sometimes if my neck starts to get a little too red though, I'll just use the CeraVe on my neck and just use the Curology preparation on my face. And then I just also put it on the backs of my hands because you should always treat the backs of your hands to good skincare as well. But the last step is to use this Teresa Lash Serum. And this is wonderful. And I have a video on my channel, which I'll link below about that. And I just run that along there once or twice. It's kind of like eyeliner, but within a couple of weeks, you will grow much longer lashes. And I have just started a test of using it on my brows. It's only like $12, so I feel like I can be kind of generous with using it. Some of the lash serums are over $100. My husband is shooting this for me, which I appreciate, and I'm sure he appreciates I, I'm not into the $100 lash serums. Yeah, he says, yeah. He will never talk on my videos, but he did shake his head, which is an improvement. I think I'm about out of this. That's good to know. Okay, that is a look at my PM skincare. I'll go to bed tonight and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, this is the next morning and I'm going to be showing you my AM skincare. And again, I use this little bin full of stuff and it is very full of stuff, but I'll show you what I use for my morning skincare. This was, again, my evening skincare, but this is the little vial for my morning skincare. And this is, of course, a Bed Bath & Beyond candle holder. At least there's some use for all of those candle holders. I love those candles. Okay, this is my AM skincare, and it also should include the cleanser. And normally what I do is I use the cleanser in the shower, and I have kind of a little gizmo that I put on the wall. I'll show you that right now. My little shower caddy. And I keep my skincare, my cleanser, here in this part marked lotion. They had pre-printed labels, and that was the closest they had was lotion. But that is actually my cleanser. There's the shower gel, conditioner, shampoo. I love this thing. And razor soap. And then over here is what I use on my body. I absolutely love these scruffly gloves. These are Allen's. These are mine. And then over here, I have a little waste can to kind of hide the mess. And in this, I have the morning lotion that I use after every shower. And this is the Alpha Skin Care 12% Hydroxy or Glycolic Acid. And I really like that. I learned about that on Angie of Hot and Flashy. But coincidentally, I had used this for years. And it is absolutely great to produce good body skin. And in here, I also have my purple shampoo and conditioner for those days where I look pretty brassy. I have this shaving gel for the days I want to shave. And then I have an extra conditioner, and I love this conditioner. I've used it for a long time. 
It's the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Hair Repair Mask. And here is what I use to dry brush my skin in the morning. I do this before I take a shower. It's very scruffly and rough. And I just brush my body real quickly before each shower. And actually in that lotion holder in the shower, I have Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser, which I've used for years. However, I am starting to use a different skin cleanser, which I really like. And this is the Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Cleanser that had me at hello, anti-wrinkle. And it has vitamin A and glycolic acid and it scruffles off those dead skin cells. Really like that. So I'll go ahead and show you how I use that. Here we go. Just put a couple of little dots of that on there. Wet wash rag. And these wash rags, I actually did a video about them. You get like 12 of them from Walmart, maybe 18 for like $3.88. And it really cleans off your skin. It's very exfoliating because it's rough and cheap, kind of like a prison washcloth. And see, I'm getting a little bit of makeup off. I have to admit, I'm not totally perfect at night. Then I turn it over, that's what I've gotten off there. Then I turn it over and I just do it one more time just to get as much of everything off my skin as I can. So that's how that works. Then I just go down here, there's a little bit of water. Yep. I forgot my towel, better get that. Okay, here's my towel and I actually just use a bath towel because look over there, those are my towel racks and they have pretty towels. <laughs> my husband gets a little mad at me because I'm not totally functional. It's sort of like beauty first. But anyway, I just grabbed this towel out of my closet because I have it hung in my closet right there. Now I get into my morning skincare and I use basically this CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion and this is absolutely wonderful. This has ceramides, which really helps the skin's barrier. It has niacinamide to brighten the skin and it has hyaluronic acid, which is a great moisturizer. And also it has a plus 30 SPF sunblock. I just do three of those like that. And then I go ahead to save time and I use my main sunblock along with it. And I've been using this Australian Gold Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy SPF 50. Really like this. It plays well with my Retin-A and that's because it is a physical barrier sunblock. So you just take that, rub it together. Then I put this all over my face and it is gooky. I mean, I really don't like how gooky it is. Very, very gooky. And I even put it on my eyelids because our eyelids need to be protected from the sun. Then I bring it down here on my neck and on the backs of my hands. I'll do a little bit more here. Maybe one more spritz of each. You know, I mostly stay in because we're sheltering in right now, but I have big windows in my kitchen and the sun can come right through there. So that's how I do the backs of my hands. Just rub that cream all in. It's all over my eyebrows. There we go. Oh, I actually forgot one of the most important things I do in the morning, and that is my hormone creams. And this is my progesterone cream, and this is my estrogen cream, and I have a video about my hormone creams, and I will go ahead and link that for you below. It's funny, I use these for medical reasons to deal with hot flashes and that kind of thing. And I used to apply them on the inside of my arms. You're supposed to apply them like on the inside of your arms where your skin is thin or on your neck. And I read some research that said that estrogen and progesterone, which is what this is, that it thickens skin. It actually is proven to thicken skin. So I thought, why not use it on my neck instead of my inner arms? So I've been doing that and I'm doing a 30 day trial right now. I take about that much of the progesterone cream. It's supposed to be a quarter of a teaspoon. And I put it all over my neck and I put it right here because I want my neck to stay firm. And also these creams are potent. Here's the estrogen cream because when I don't use them, I get my hot flashes back. You're supposed to use a half teaspoon of the estrogen. And I actually took these creams to my OBGYN and he totally approved of them, which really surprised me because you tend to think, oh, creams on the internet must just be a gimmick. But he looked at the dosages and everything on the creams and he said they're just fine. And actually creams are supposed to get into your bloodstream quicker than a lot of the other, like the trochees and that kind of thing. 
So there I am all greasy. Now I take my CeraVe Vitamin C Serum, and I've just been using this maybe about a month. But vitamin C is great. It's protective from the sun because it helps fight free radicals. So I just put that all over my skin. And over time, vitamin C should help null out brown spots. So it's just very, very good for your skin. For a long time, I didn't have a vitamin C and I was glad to get that one. Now, I also do my lashes. This is my morning lash serum. It's a Teresa lash serum and you can see there, it just has a little, little eyeliner type brush and I just put that on there. You're supposed to use just one swipe per lash. However, this stuff is very inexpensive. It's like $12 for both the AM and the PM version. So I go ahead and use two swatches of that. And then I take it and I just do this because I'm also doing my brows. My brow tails, I'm trying to grow them in. And hopefully I'll show you the results in 30 days or so. This is a fabulous lash serum and I'll link it below for you. So that is my morning AM skincare. And what I do now is while I'm waiting for this stuff to sink in, I go ahead and flat iron my hair and make it look a little more presentable because this is get out of bed hair. Well, that was a look at my PM and my AM skincare. Hope you all enjoyed seeing what I actually use. And I have tried probably a hundred different products over the last three years on YouTube. These are the products that at the current time, I feel absolutely do the most for my skin. And for those of you who follow my channel know, I do use Botox. I had a fat filler in my cheeks. And some people would say, oh, well, she's had a bunch of work done. Well, I have had some work done, but in terms of quality of your skin, you can't fake that. It is good skin care that really helps one have good skin, good skin care and sunblock. So anyway, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, I hope you'll click that little bell and subscribe and or give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And of course, I'm not in my camera room with my cards. So I will just tell you about a wonderful audiobook that I have been reading that I think you would love. And in fact, I recommended it to both of my sons and hopefully they will be reading it. I love to listen to audiobooks. I work out in the morning and it always helps me feel more positive to listen to a, a good positive audiobook in the morning when I'm doing my weight workouts. But it is by Mel Robbins and it is a bestseller and it is called The Five Second Rule. And I'll link it below and I won't get into all the specifics of it, but it is a wonderful book. First, she created The Five Second Rule out of her own experience at a time in her life when she was really depressed and could hardly get out of bed. One night she saw a liftoff where they said five, four, three, two, one, blast off. And she said, tomorrow morning, instead of re-hitting the snooze alarm four times because I'm so depressed, I'll just say five, four, three, two, one, blast off and get up. And that's what she did. And then she realized little by little that she could use this five second rule, five, four, three, two, one, blast off to accomplish a lot of kind of seemingly difficult things in her life. And not only does she share how the five second rule helped her, she goes into all the science behind why this actually works. And this is a phenomenal book. And if you wrestle with little mini demons, like overeating, not exercising enough, even thinking negative thoughts, which is something I have been guilty of doing a little bit, well, kind of a lot bit in this COVID sheltering in place time that we're going through, I can tend to go negative. But how I use it is when I have a negative thought about it, I'll say five, four, three, two, one, and shift to a positive thought. And little by little, just like a muscle that you use, your mind learns to shift from a negative thought to a positive, and it becomes almost an automatic thing over time. And I'm not totally there yet, but I am working in that direction and it is just wonderful. So anyway, that was a look at my AM and PM skincare routine. I would love for you to share the products that work for you down in the comment section, because this is a community of women helping each other to look and feel their best. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.